girls that don't need no man. This is for the girls to love for themselves. This is for all the girls that did it by themselves. This is for all the girls that's high and D, E, P, E, and D, and D. This is for all the girls that been living stress free. This is for all the girls on a mission like me. Excuse me, who's the director of this section of uh, office? Ms. Connor. Ms. Connor, is, is, is she available? She's here. May you see if she available? She got to explain to me what section that because I ain't on her. I know. How the hell you got to make three times the rent? But when you make three times the rent, you don't qualify for section eight. You don't make, you don't, the, every apartment you call, they say you got to have a credit score like this or you got to make three times the rent. But if you make three times the rent, you don't qualify for section eight. You overly pay. You don't need them. See what I'm saying? You gonna help me understand why I got a section eight voucher and I've been in the shelter for three months? That's what I'm saying. I'm not hearing me. Oh, you got accepted in January. I don't have no emails, and I got a screenshot saying that I'm still on the list. Wow, so is you cutting up? No, they they do this all the time. That's why I've been staying on them because everybody already warned me about how to get down. Wow, I just got chills. I don't even know if you can see. I just got chills because I'm tired of. I'm tired of it. I'm homeless. I heard no man have time to play games. Exactly. Super homeless. They need to come down here. So I, I, I'm, now I'm going to go get my Chicago people to uh, rally with me if they don't do something now. I'm not even from here. So. Me either. That and what's crazy is that they told me, the, 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 my social case worker, her, she, the Kevin Marino lady told me, well, it's called uh, voucher choice, your choice. You find somewhere. I said, well, ma'am, you need to point me in a direction because I done called every single county y'all got out here and everybody is saying three times story. Only ones that ain't saying it is in the middle of the hood. I'm a mother of four kids. I'm not going to move my kids to, to get shot. Sorry. You, you the manager? You the, you the, uh, the CEO? Of her? That's what I want to talk to. I want to talk to nobody else. She said everybody was on lunch. Everybody was on lunch? Okay, well. I can't speak into the mic, ma'am. What's that? I said, do you want to speak to the CEO? You'll probably have to make an appointment. Okay, whoever she said was here, I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. Because see, we I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to stand like this because see we all black we black people we know better than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went there. I went there. Yes, ma'am, I did. I want to speak to your supervisor then. Okay, I want to speak to your supervisor. Ma'am, look at this. I just want to speak to your supervisor. I don't want to communicate anymore. You waiting on the supervisor too? Me too. Okay, it's not the race card. It's what's going on in the world. I just was told by somebody from Georgia that those was projects and now they're condos. Black people can't even get in. That's not the race card, is it? Ma'am, did you know I'm a mother of four kids? Two of them is white. I ain't racist, but I'm going to call it how I see it. Hopefully you guys heard all of that. That was real interesting, wasn't it? She said a couple of things that were actually really key. First thing she said is that she's in a shelter. She's a single mother with four children. Two of them are white. So you didn't adopt those kids, those are foster kids, and you became homeless? Or did you adopt those kids before you became homeless? And now you are homeless with two adopted white kids or foster white kids? Hmm interesting little point the other interesting points are this as well she's in a shelter right now she said that her caseworker explained to her that this is a section 8 voucher choice meaning that they don't help you find no place they give you a voucher but you gotta find a place now she was speaking to somebody off camera that was also telling her that she was having a hard time for uh, uh, uh finding these places because these realty companies, landlords, these people that own these apartment building complexes and things of that nature are not allowed by law to discriminate against people with Section 8 vouchers. However, when you are able to be in charge of the environment, i.e. policies and law and stuff like that, you can manipulate those very policies in such a way as to be a loophole to get around that whole discrimination thing. By saying you've got to earn 
three times the rent, which she noted, if you earn three times the rent, you don't have section eight and you don't need them. Ding, 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 ding. That's the whole point. Ooh. I've been, you know, I've, I've seen the desperation in a lot of people's faces when they can't find a place moved by her experience she is working with other students to figure out why landlords are locking out tenants on section 8 we just want to know did you not get paid on time was the relationship with the tenant bad the federal government limits how much it will pay in rent landlords are subject to housing authority inspections and must be willing to take rent payments from two sources the tenant and the government in a hot rental market they could all be reasons sometimes it's like an unspoken thing we're not going to tell you we don't accept it um, but we want you to make three times the rent. And your credit score needs to be X, Y, Z. All barriers landlords know someone using a voucher can't achieve. In Cobb County, the Housing Authority says in the past two years, the number of landlords actively participating in their program has dropped. 20%. And according to our open records request, housing authorities across the state report less than half of the families who get vouchers use them. What would you say is at stake if we don't figure this out? You're going to see uh, a, a huge increase in homelessness, women, children, the elderly, um, our most vulnerable, ooh, child to cry. our most vulnerable populations will be suffering. Ruth still goes out to the bridge where she once lived, but now it's to pass out food and offer hope. So when you are on the street, I believe that we get comfortable. It becomes home, you know, and you forget about the relaxation that you maybe could have, like sleeping in a regular bed. Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all want to talk about, all the ladies independent, throw your head up in the air. All the ladies getting money, throw your head up in the air. Tell me how your angels get down like that. Tell me how your angels get down like that. That's what y'all want to talk about. You know, the couples, you know, they usually split the rent, so it's like, I wish I could kind of do that with someone. It's a heartbreaking truth. If you're sitting at home alone in a one bedroom, according to Zillow, you're paying a singles tax. An additional $19,500 a year, the highest in the nation. Whereas the lovebirds down the hall, they're saving an annual average of $39,000. And that's a ton of money. You could put that towards a wedding or a down payment on a home. Our mortgage is paid off. It's just not fair. And yes, while you have the freedom to leave the toilet seat up and the dirty dishes out, it will cost you. Street Easy found rent is up 18% from one year ago to more than 3000 for a one bedroom. Getting a two bedroom and a roommate will help, but shacking up and sharing a small space with that special someone guarantees a sizable savings. I can't give anyone advice on their love life. It's a decision that they're going to have to make with their particular partner. But if you have a significant other and you want to move in with that partner, this may give you a little bit more ammunition to nudge them in this direction. Do you ever consider shacking out with someone to save money? Um, thought about it, <laughs> but I enjoy my independence, my freedom. Stop dating in the United States all together. They don't need a man, they don't need us. Let them die alone. We go to another country, don't even come back. Shout out to the passport brothers. <laughs> We're gonna keep going overseas. We're gonna keep doing things like this.